Um, so gang, here's our city. No, G Money. We, uh, this is like a pretty new city, right? Um, do we even have that unlocked? Oh, we do. We just can't afford it. Um, nah, no, I don't. We could put it down, I guess. But, uh, meh. Gun? Yes? Oh, don't go to America. I don't want you to get shot. Um, make Yed come here and do it. Yed, come up here. Come watch Canadian Oppenheimer. It'll be much, it'll be much kinder. And you can support Ryan Gosling in his own country. Uh, so what do we want to do today? A great gun. Fantastic. What I would love to do today is to reach the population required for a crematorium. I'm going to press record on my other OBS. Ready? Bam. So if things break, that's, uh, that's, that is what it is. Um, <laughs> uh, so I want to get a population of 14,000. Oh shit. That's not going to happen anytime soon, is it? Um, oh, we were working on Paul Place before. Yes, we had the mid-century modern stuff going over here. And, um, oh, we put down whatever this is. I guess it's a unique building. And we were working on the rocket and we're going to launch Phallic 5 one day. Um, it's great. So now we come in here. Listen, none of that is going to YouTube. <laughs> I'm recording no sound and I'm only recording the video game and it's for uh, it's for uh, a very different style of YouTube <laughs> Fuck. Anyways, this will be on YouTube the second channel kind of sort of high YouTube. I think you're all right um, mm -hmm. Yeah, the Canadian Oppenheimer all right, what is what is going on here? So I want, I want, right, we were gonna put like nice things over here. Okay, so we have, I think we have all of the services we need in this area. Um, we, oh, you know what we should do is water. Let's deal with, let's deal with water first. Um, we could stand to do water in. Let's do it in the forestry area. That makes sense to me. Um, we'll do like a couple water towers here. Let's do like three of them here. Um, nice. Okay. Hello. Hey, and then we'll do water out. Uh, and we were creating a poo river. Oh, right. The landscaping that we had to do to make this bridge work. I forgot all about that. Um, that sucks, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Wait for it. Wait for it. Video game, please. Oh, actually, I've probably done one too many of those, but that's fine. Uh, good. What, power? Power is okay for a while. Okay, cool. So let's come back to this area. So what I kind of planned on this being is like a touristy area. Um, is that what Paul is the mid-century modern? Do we want to do, or wait, did I ever tell you guys that I wanted this to be touristy? Am I mixing up cities now? I think I'm, I think I'm confusing. I think I'm confusing this city with the city that we're doing on YouTube. Wow. Come say that into the microphone, Gunt. I have a sneaky suspicion you would make a few people uh, have a have a moment if you did that. Nice, Warner. You live in the temporary digs. War, war, Warner. <laughs> there we go, Warner. <laughs> you now live in the temporary digs. Uh, who's getting full? So we really need to get this fucking population up, don't we? Do we have high density yet? Oh my God, we have high density. Okay, great. That's fantastic. Um, what I would like to do with that information is, no, can we calm down? What I would like to do with that information is, no, 
Here we go. Here we go. All right. Careful. Don't hurt my computers. I'm giggling like a little boy. Ah, <clears throat> uh, Phallic 5, this is ground control. Now you gotta sing it. What? I sang it when you wrote it. Phallic 5, the ground control. Oh, you want me to do it like Bowie? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was not the intention. <laughs> I'm just doing it like an operator. Hi, everybody. How's everybody going? How's everybody going? How's everybody doing? How you coming and going? <clears throat> I don't even know how I would be able to sing that. Ah, Phallic 5, this is ground control. Uh, you are balls deep in Venus's uh, gravitational pull. Prepare for atmospheric penetration. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh my. Uh, ground control, this is Phallic 5. <laughs> We've discovered that it is not Venus, it is actually a black hole. Hi, what's up? Like a butt? <laughs> like a butt. <laughs> like Ignis's anus. That's hard to say, Ignis's anus. It's your anus. Yeah. All the space jokes. We gotta bring race into it? Wow. Anus is not a race, dude. Uh, hey, Jay. How's it going? How you doing? How you going? How's it? Come on, ça va? Uh, como esta? What is the Portuguese? Bom dia. I just know bom dia. Bom dia. I don't know. Ihr geht's? <laughs> That's German. Isn't that German? Yeah. Uh, Portuguese. How are you? Como vai? Como vai? Okay. <clears throat> and other uh, languages like that. Um, yeah. How's, uh, yeah. I got a week off. I'm, uh. What are you gonna do? Pretty fucking excited. Might go, uh, oh, I might go help, uh, Sister Gunt, uh, install a pool. Oh, that's Maybe. fine. <laughs> yeah. Might do that. As you do. And see what everyone else is up to, you know? Mm -hmm. Aside from that, a whole lot of, uh, all and fuck. Fuck all. Want to play games? Would you like to play a game? Above ground, apparently. So, no diggy diggy. Just, uh, clippy clippy. It's apparently in pieces. Gotta put it together, like a little jigsaw puzzle. Oh. That's what they all say, until, you know... I think we have to level a little bit, but that's about it. It's a whole lot of D4 for a week off. Yeah. That? Here? What's that? Um, <clears throat> I don't know if you guys know this or not, but, uh, we just all need to maybe look over into the sweet eyes of Choose Red Mage and just let him know, thank you. Uh, thank you for sweet buck all. You are a star, sir. What asset the interchange is, please? <clears throat> um, uh, Toadie. Oh! I know you can't read, um, the chat, but a young, uh, officer named JBMF <laughs> is asking, uh, what asset that interchange is. Do you know the answer to this? Were you here? Uh, where, where, where should I have been? Okay. So, um, it's a... What did we just call it? A a pad a padder change? A padder change? Because so it's actually No, not a, a pad. <laughs> it's actually a dog bone interchange because it looks like a dog bone. But then we had uh like a woman in chat and she was like it it's 
it looks like a pad. It looks like a menstrual pad. I was like, fuck yeah, it does. And so now it's it's a menstrual pad. It's a Red Bull interchange because it gives you wings. <laughs> That's so rude! <laughs> Is it though? I need bug! <clears throat> okay, <laughs> so I look for a yeah, pattern change. It'll come up. Oh, something will come up. <laughs> Wink! A few more connections in that uh, maxi pad <laughs> interchange. Wow, we're going right to this, eh? Going down the aisle that none of you guys would ever go down, probably. I don't know. <laughs> I've not heard of uh, dog bone before. Hmm. I don't... I don't have anything. <laughs> also, hello. Yeah, welcome in Q QC. Um, did you find a J? Did you look her up? Did you find it? Did you get it? Give a dog a bone. Hmm? Anything. I'll take anything. Yeah, so what's your plan here? What's your, what you got going on in the city? Tell me. You you commentate, tits. Commentate? No, no, no. I I'm the interviewer. I'm I don't know. Looks like you're doing a nice little little park here, a little mulberry park. With some roads, some roads. Ruades. And we're going to change it into... Farm? Nope. Residential. High fucking res... Residential. I want the highest res possible. I want that fucking residential to be... 1070p. You don't think you got an actual answer? Well, I, what, what, what? She said the dog bone interchange or pattern change or I don't fucking look it up, dude. Can't you like Google image it <laughs> these days? Take a screenshot, put it in Googs. See, Kimmy knows. Hit enter. Uh, yeah. Karen, hello. See, Kimmy has this all under control. Seventy p. Like what? <laughs> That's high res. Credential. Leap p. Kimmy no. No, Kimmy yes. Can I request thirteen thirty seven p? Oh shit! Wonder how dare you get the fuck out of here. I mean, you stay. You're lovely. <clears throat> Sorry, I got aggressive there. It's Friday. Hi, Amy. Did you uh, play some, I don't know, village of the wandering kind? Hi, Amy. 1440? <laughs> Hired. QC, thank you. Come on in. Sit down. Have a seat. You want a drink? Would you like a salad? Some bread? 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 I got bread. I like bread. 4K now, fam. I need 69.69K. <laughs> I need a 401k, if you know what I mean. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Does that say 69k or just 69? No, it's 69, 69k is like 6.9 million, right? Uh, I did, I just got back from watching the Barbie movie. Fantastic, Yay! Amy, nicely done. More Wandering Village tomorrow. Yeah, little poop from the Barbie movie, eh? Wait, Barbie movie. I think I said <laughs> Marby Booby. <laughs> Very well. Good plans. That's a great, uh, that's a great day. Great day for hay. Barbenheimers? Barbenheimers? Barbenheimers mod check. Barbieheimer, thoughts? Do you even know what mod check is? Huh? Huh? Is it an like, emote? Yeah. Because it's typed like that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 Mm. Mod check? Hey. Oh, watch your hand. Yeah, no. I know. His hand, his fucking hand, he was using my fucking computer as a resting thing and his hand, his weight was on it and it was this fucking close to the power button. You, could you fucking imagine? I would just not stream, I would just be done. I was being careful, okay? She, 
just thinks I'm reckless and I'm not. No, I think you're an idiot. <laughs> you take that back right now. <clears throat> uh, mod check, is that like a man check? I, d I don't think so. I don't even know what the emote's supposed to be. If it has, it's probably just a check mark, isn't it? No, it's a person looking. It's a person looking around, mod check. Is there any mods around? Guess where the mods are? Right here, baby. Here I am. <laughs> she is not impressed with me. Now she's got me off for a whole week, so... Wait, that came out wrong. Nothing but trouble gun. Nah, I'm all good. You definitely recommend Barbie movie? Of course. Yeah, I also recommend it. Just because there's a lot of Canadians in it. A lot of Canadians? Quite a few, yeah. Oh. I know about Ryan. We're on a first name basis. Oh, are you? Yeah. He's not yet a goose. He's just a goslin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, and, um, oh, what's his name? Uh, shit. Uh, no, no, I suck. <laughs> the guy that played Shang-Gi. Bye, Warner. Have a good night. The gentleman who played uh, Shang-Gi is in it. Yeah, I, I got it. Look at ya. <laughs> My stream would end. <laughs> Guess what? You would be right back. Why would it? Is Toadie losing the will here? <laughs> yeah, she is. <laughs> Warner. Oh, hi, Warner. You get back here. That was the drop. <laughs> was it the Goslin joke? Yeah. yeah. Um. Oh uh, yeah, fair. Fair 111. Uh, speaking of 111, I've been listening to a lot of Finger 11 today. Fucking melting my face. It's been great. I'm good old Canadian rock. Wait. Finger 11 is Canadian? Yes. What the fuck? They used to be called oh, uh, yeah, they were somebody else. Butthole Surfers. Oh. That was the original band name, and then they changed it to Finger 11. Okay. Finger D's nuts. <laughs> Finger. Yeah. I think everything good is Canadian, to be honest. That's right. Yeah. Thank you, way. Amy. I appreciate that uh, analysis of yours. Paralyzer's a banger, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Take You Down is a great song. Yeah. Oh, they got a lot of good tunes. How's our place doing? Jay, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Gives a shit. It's dead. <laughs> My favorite Canadian group is Delirium, Frontline Assembly. Oh, nicely done. Delirium, Frontline Assembly. I don't recognize Frontline Assembly at all. Oh, you all right there, Brew? Cough it up, bud. Get it out of you. Yeah, okay. Sniffy, sniffy. And he's out of here. He's going to make inspections. Report back. I want a full page report on my desk by six. Oh, the Dead South! Oh, the Dead South? Yeah, Absolutely. gotta introduce me to them. I like them quite a bit. The Dead South is the freaking tits. The fucking... Uh, Hot that? take, G-Money. Uh, if we're... If we're... If we're... Um, if we're talking specifically about the actor part of that section, Ryan Gosling. But if we're talking about, like, the person, Keanu Reeves. But Keanu Reeves can't fucking act worth shit. Excuse um, me? He just can do physical acting very well. But he just, like, he just, yes. I think I have to poop. I think that is the case. Have you not seen Constantine? Or? Yeah, where he does the same thing? <laughs> or point, point blank? I've never heard those words before in my life. Uh, not point by. <laughs> <laughs> she just hit me in the face with the microphone. Is that what that feels like? Um, <laughs> he meant his dick there. 
not uh, break. Wait, no. Point what is it break. called? Point Break. Yeah, Point Break with uh, Patrick Swayze. Oh, him I like. Yeah. 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 You, you probably don't like him now. Cause he's dead. It is very dark. Point Break. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, or Constantine, or what was the serious one that he did? But it is kind of true. He does have the, he does have the one expression, and a lot of whoa. Do you mean the serious one? Do you mean the Matrix? No, no, no. no. Speed? No, no, no. It's like an actual drama. Feeling Minnesota. Oh, that's a good one too. Feeling Minnesota is a great one. My own private Idaho. Is that is that a request, Jones? I thought there was one. It's like it's it's almost like snow falling on cedar hill roofs, but it's something different like that. Forgetting something. Debug. We um recently watched number four. It was, yeah. Yes, and John Wicker Man. Uh, I'm gonna watch Speed again. Yes, yeah. in French it's called Speed. <laughs> I don't, I'm not gonna explain myself. Sweet November. Sweet November, so close to you know snow falling on cedar uh, roofs because you know November and snow. I think that's how I made that connection. Who's that Pokemon? Uh, it's funny that you mentioned that because he also wants Constantine too. Yeah. He said of all of his movies, he would love to do Constantine too. Do a sequel. Yeah. Butter fetched. There's no uh, celery though, or whatever he carries. That's oh, that's it? Yeah. Oh, then is it the apostrophe that's fucking him over? Oh, it's parenta. What? Well, that's a different language. Oh. Yeah. Well, obviously, I knew that. Definitely Spanish. Yeah, Karen! After giving some thought, I think the butthole server should have kept the original name. I agree, Joe. Yeah, now they probably regret it now, Karen. <laughs> 111. Those are all the original gen. That's a gen 1 Pokemon. Not to like shit on your parade or anything. <laughs> when I was a tadpole, my father, he took me to the city. So, uh, who did it? Somebody, oh, it's Red Mage. He just did it in a different language, but it was far fetched. Ma Red Mage speaks 52 different languages. Oh, yes, of course. All Latin based except for German. Just an FYI. Just a little tidbit about him that you didn't know. You know, you thought you did, but you, now you do. <clears throat> yeah. When I was. Were you just singing that? Yeah. Oh, you fuck. <laughs> Took me to see the shit parade. There was Kaka. Everywhere and scattered <laughs> all among the city. Yeah, you're welcome. 52, I have to do some uh, learning then. Yeah, I barely know three at the moment. Well, you know way more than I do. So 52 for you, sir. When I was a yeah, oh, Warner. <laughs> When I was a young warthog. When I was a young warthog. When he was a young warthog. And that's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> how many? How many? How many bits or subs for you and I to do to pull up the lyrics to that song and do a duet? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Um, what's the name of the? Because you're gonna know this. The Halo vehicle. It's something hog, isn't it? It's literally a warthog. It's also called warthog. Yeah, well, there you go. Wow. So we'll just do that. How many to not see that? Joe! <laughs> Sorry, Brutus has something to share. Brew, do you have something to say? You want to sing? Sing, buddy. Squeaker. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it Morse code? Oh. Yeah. Let's bring the whale in here, he, she says. 
You got a whale? You having a whale of a time, buddy? That's also my Chewbacca sound, too. That's the weird part. Is it a whale? Is it Chewbacca? Is it just gun? I don't know. <laughs> okay, move back a little bit because I'm going to turn on the big camera. You just move back a little bit. Okay. Okay, gang, I need you to understand what I'm seeing here. He's standing there. Gun's standing over there like this. Like this. This is how he's talking. He's standing there like this. And every time you hear him kind of like do a woo in his voice, Gun's standing there and he's doing this. He's going woo as though he's fucking juggling his fucking balls. And it's like he's just doing this beside me at fucking face height. I don't know how to process it. Brutus, can you take this and shove it up your ass? Honestly. All right, here you go. I still Do you want to get the chair? I still don't understand what the problem is here, but okay. Do you want to just pull up the chair and actually I mean, sit down and here? Anyone would want to give a subscription for me to do that in their face as well. Hi, Brew. Welcome back. Please go on. Say something. Say a few words, love. Is it a humpback? Is it a narwhal? Nice throw, bud. <laughs> Fucking way to Aaron Rodgers that. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, you're pretty. Oh. You're such a fucking dumbass. Oh, you got an itchy face? Let me get that face. That's just the way I talk to Jay as well. Yeah. Well, I want. <laughs> Do not make fun of his making, uh, oh. yeah, making dance. I know, my maiden dance. I know. Hey, fucking glasses. Bring back Brutus in the well. Joe, fuck's sakes, man. What do I need to do to get into that close off heart of yours? <laughs> Kelly. Oh, Joe. Oh, oh, shit, Joe. I fucking wish mine would. Excuse me? Can you get a fucking chair and sit down? You're you don't, giving me so much anxiety. You don't have a wife. You're giving me so much anxiety. Why? Because your hand is so close to that. I'm watching it's it. It's gonna happen. No, no. If it was you, it would gonna happen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> when I was. <laughs> when he was a young warthog. <laughs> I can't, what does he say? I came out of the cave? I came out of the cave! I don't really know it. You look at her up. I'm not gonna do it. That's annoying. That's and annoying. It's funny because I was about to say Tipo, t uh, Tipo and Bino, but that's something else. Tupi and Bino. That's it. Yeah. I haven't watched that. Yeah. No. <sighs> <sighs> yeah. And they'll always just cycle through in your head for the rest of the night, Amy. Tomorrow, you'll be placing down you'll be placing down water towers and horn blowers for your onbu, and then suddenly, horn. when he was a young onbu, <laughs> that's what you'll be singing to yourself. <clears throat> If you touch her power button, she's gonna, yeah, hit your reset button. Yeah, right in the guesser. I don't come to your house and paint your fence. Yeah. So, um, yeah, clearly we're um, paying attention to the city's game here. We've got a nice little hotel there, a uh, little area. What does the green mean, happiness or value? Oh, I see. We got some acceptable sites for a hotel. Right on top of that mountain looks fantastico. Go on. He's eating. He's having dinner. That's all he was doing. Did you not understand the Morse code? He's like, I'm hungry. I'm going to go eat. Is there anything you want me to eat <laughs> specifically? No? Okay, I'm going to eat the dog food. That was what he said via whale. Via whale. Yeah. Via. Via? Via or via? I say via. Okay. Today we learned. Question for Gunt and the chat. 
Um, so us Western worlders, when we were in high school, we had lockers. And lockers had a lock on them. Fucking weird, right? <clears throat> and that lock had like a turny, turny yeah. duber, dial is the official word, uh, that you like remember to unlock it with. Do you guys, as adults, uh, hold up. First question, non-Western worlder people out there in the world, um, do you, did you guys have lockers? And if you did, are you one of the weirdos like magician that remembers your lock combo? Gunt, take it away. Like, did watch you that. use, I'm watching it. I've been watching it this entire time, but it's kind of boring. I'd rather watch your stream. Um, so wait, you remember the combination, but so was it your combination throughout the time that you used it? Like four years of high school or what? Yeah, ours was always the same. Oh, yeah. no, I always had a different lock every year oh. for that reason. Because oh. we had kids, uh, yeah, they would, you're able to figure it out, oh, eh? Key lock. You're able to figure out how to get them open every time. Lock key locks. locks. Oh, wait, hmm. even if you, even if Go you on. change your locker, why don't you just keep the same lock? No, no, no. We changed the lock itself. You change lockers, but you also change the lock. That's so dumb. <clears throat> no, because you 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 were able to open those pretty easy. Like well, you can yeah. open them pretty easy. Of course, you just fucking. So kids would learn your combination, and when you had stuff in there, they would take it. You're from up north. Well, yeah, that was life, yo. Your I don't know. locks were built into the locker, and you remember the combo two G money wild. I like the key idea. Um, Amy didn't have one in the UK, but you remember the numbers. Oh, interesting. Oh, interesting. Oh yeah, like I remember, so um, the job that Gunt and I met at, I left that job like what? It's almost 10 years ago now, yeah. but I still remember my sign in like numbers for it and stuff. Oh yeah, they'll be forever ingrained in my body now. <clears throat> yeah, Amy, yeah. Finger pattern, yeah, it's muscle memory, right? Yeah. A lot of people you'll ask, like, hey, what's your ID? And then they're like, they have to like stare at a keyboard and imagine themselves typing it because yeah. it helps them remember. One of my favorite high school memories was, well, I say favorite, um, was uh, watching the secretary of the school, very like typically tiny, tiny woman. Um, and wearing like very high heels kind of thing, watching her fucking book it down the hallways with giant bolt cutters because somebody got locked in the locker. Uh, and like instantly she just had to go and get the fucking kid out. And so, but like very, very, I think the bolt cutters were as big as she was. Tap water. I think that was a thing why we didn't have the pre-installed locks and lockers for that reason because they were huge yeah. in my school yeah. you could fit a lot of people in them so there was a worry that people would get locked in them if they were pre-installed right, i'm waiting for money how big was your lockers what the fuck uh they were pretty big like, yeah yeah they were they were almost i think six four in height totally and yeah pretty wide like me ha <laughs> No, 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 not like you. How small were your kids? <laughs> well, we are Canadian. We don't grow well in the sun, and there's not much sun during the year, so. But we're tiny. Uh, the kid was running into the hall and <laughs> laid him out. He was a bit crazy. Oh, yeah. 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 That is a huge what the fuck. <laughs> Kelly, calm down. Things are big here, okay? That's all I can say. Like his dick! I wasn't even going there. I, Bullshit! No, I just said things are big. You know, trees, roads, streets. I, you know not to press that one too, right? Does it look like I'm pressing it? Does it look like I'm pressing it? Yes. Our lockers were like 40 by 30 centimeters. That is tiny. And was there one above and below then? That's, yeah, that's tiny. That's small. <clears throat> Joe. Absolutely. 
You're... Oh, yeah, I already told you. I, I, I already I watched some bullet chess yes, the other day. Yeah, what is bullet chess? Literally, like the fastest game in the West. <laughs> what, how, who the fuck am I? Um, it was literally like really quick. Like they have no time to make a move. Like it's just bam, 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 bam. Like a, a game lasted like literally a few minutes. Wow. Yeah. And there was a guy trying to do commentator or commentary, and I don't know if he was like if it was his first time or whatever. Right. But he was really trying to like kind of keep up on what was going on, and then he just started to like slowly give up, which was fine. Not give up, but he's like, okay, no, I shouldn't. I shouldn't comment on every move. Right. <clears throat> uh, he was kind of started commenting on like, well, literally like every 15th move because that's all you could keep up with. <clears throat> but it was on that, uh, apparently the Magnus fella has a channel. That's where I caught uh. it. I caught it on there. <clears throat> but yeah, it was quick. Like even the... Um, like you know, that there were they had a graphic trend to show you where the pieces were currently were, but there was things like disappearing because they they couldn't keep up. It was crazy. Not even like it's not like bullet time. Oh, two star. We got a two star chirper hotel, ladies and gents. Well, I guess I could leave you. You've been great though. Great, great gang. I think that's my time. Uh, thanks for the jokes. Um, Tori ZZZ is up next. Um, you're going to love her. She's a hoot. Uh, and also a poop. Okay. Uh, I love you all. <laughs> yeah, thanks for the stream. Yeah. I like it when you Good night, do fellas. This part. What's that? I like it when you do this part. Do what part? Putting yeah. down residential? No, the talking part. Oh, I'm talking. I'm in chit chatting. Yeah, I know. I'll, I'll go eat. And then uh, maybe if uh, you're still around, I'll uh, come back. Who are we raiding? Your fucking pants, bud. That's what we're raiding. Hey -o! Yeah, can we get a shout out for Toadie ZZZ, please? Nuts. He's great. <laughs> Thank you, Warner, for the shout out. Um, and yeah, well, the ironic thing is, Magician, is that Golf is not wearing any pants. So I don't know what we're raiding at that point. Maybe it's... Never mind, I'm not going to say it. Uh, yeah, and Golf, I'm going to slip into your DMs, but I've... Uh, I've outlined a few things in my head that needs to be put on paper and someone just needs to acknowledge that uh, hey, that's a fucking great idea. Let's go. Okay, I love you all. Bye. Oh! Thanks. Thanks, bye. Yeah, it's it was a voiceover stream. It is no longer. Reel in your man. Kelly, it's not possible. It's, there's there's no reel in here. We, we, no, not happening. <laughs> Yo. Oh, I love that douchebag though. He's my favorite. Oh, Warner, no. Oh, gang. He's a he's an alright lad, eh? Should we keep him around? I think we do. I think we keep the man around. Look at this like crappy little area. Oh! Hey! Small city! Oh, and this gives us the four taxes that, or the four policies that make us lots of money. Um, yeah, it was fun. Yeah, Guns, yeah, he, he does all right. He does okay. Um, yeah, he does all right. <laughs> That's because, G-Money, I steal them from him, and then I pretend that they are my own. <laughs> oh, and I'm telling them already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. Oh, we could do a one of these. Mm-hmm. It's true. It's true. It's true. Did you guys know that teenagers scare the living shit out of me? Da na na na. <clears throat> Oh, fun games. I mean, it was probably developed in uh, a not English place. <laughs> oh, magician. 
I like, so my gut reaction magician is I want to be like, oh, we shouldn't reinforce those stereotypes, but you're right. <laughs> Teenagers are scary. It's true. It's true. It's true. Um, okay. So I'm going to, oh, let's turn on those policies, shall we? I'm going to expand this um, district up to here. Teenagers scare the living fiac out on me. Punch the tallest teenager and the rest will flee. Wait, that doesn't sound very kind. All right, ready? We're about to make the big bucks. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So we're only making 5,000 a week right now. And then once those kick in, we are about to make big, big dollar bills. Also, let's, um, let's like look at these districts and let's let people smoke pot in all of these. Um, shall we? Uh, and these guys need death care over here. Oh, they have zero. Great. Wait. Oh, <laughs> G-Money. Uh, quite literally because I was watching another streamer earlier today who asked his chat about that. And I was like, that's a great question to um, get a conversation going in a stream. And so I asked it. Um, Cause nothing I do is original. Like not a single fucking thing. So, you know? Uh, actually, Ig, I would be curious if the South America, um, please answer this on behalf of the entire South America. Uh, do you guys in high school have lockers? And um, if you do, do you remember your old high school locker combo? Um, so we had lockers, obviously, and I do, in fact, forget my old locker combo, but the, um, the fun part about my answer to that is that I often have dreams, um, that are, like, relevant to high school, um, and I open my locker in those dreams, but I don't, like... And I, I use the, the type of lock that I'm talking about, but I couldn't wake up and tell you what that what that combination actually is. I also often speak Spanish in my dreams. Um, and while I do speak like okay Spanish right now, I certainly not like with the full fluency that I like to pretend I have in my dreams. Oh, padlocks for your bikes. And you know that combo, that's wild. Right? Yeah, I'm 33, 111. Um, same. I think it's just where so many of our, like, formative years are, right? Some schools do, the vast majority you say, no, you bring your, and everything in your backpack. Yeah, some folks were saying that too. <gasps> really, magician? Oh, that's so interesting. Such a wee baby. Get fucked. <laughs> I'm sorry, Aurora. It's a Friday night. Um, yeah. So the only two phone numbers other than my own that I know are like childhood home phone numbers. I don't even know Gunt's number, um, but my I know my landline phone number from when I was young. And then when my dad got a cell phone, um, he made his cell phone number just one different than the landline. It was genius. Um, and those are the only phone numbers I remember other than my own. Uh, and I've had this same phone number. I saw it, I think it was Red Mage talking about how his phone numbers have like changed over the years. Um, I've had the same cell phone number since I got my very first cell phone at like, it's probably like 15 or so, maybe 14. Yes, magician, same. For me though, like the reason of my brain being rotten is, is drugs and ADHD. Um, please don't do drugs, kids. Yeah, right, Kelly? Yeah. I keep trying. I have on multiple occasions tried to memorize Gunt's phone number, um, and then I just always forget it afterwards. 
Oh, Warner. I didn't know that. That's really cool. Gunt, apparently, like his family had a party line. Are party lines um, a global thing or are those just a Western world thing? I'd be curious if they're global. Gang, what do we think about this? these crazy road layouts? I kind of hate them quite a bit, but they're going to be great for traffic. You have a reoccurring dream of going back to school because it's like you're owing us. Oh, oh, Ignis, that's so interesting. The party line. Yeah. So a party line is like before my day. Um, oh, yes, magician. Yes. His his hometown is like population like it would have been 2000 back then. Um, it's so it's not even devices. It's multiple houses on one like line number. So you get like a, a street and everybody on that street has the same phone number <laughs> and the same phone line. And so if you pick up the phone and you want to go call your friend, you're right. You're right. Yeah. I just, yeah, you're right. I just think device and I think like device. Right. Um, but it is totally the same thing. Um, so if you pick up the phone and you want to go call your friend and if you hear people talking, then it's like another house is, is using the phone line. And so you have to like, wait. Yeah. Gun, you were my, you were my example for sure. Damn. Hello. How are you? Your parents had a 1-800 for the house? Oh, Joe, I've never heard of that. That's super interesting. Dear, thank you for hanging out. I appreciate you, it's been fun. Thank you for giving us uh, so many ideas for the, um, for the city skyline stuff. That's some awkward phone sex. Yeah, Gunt, did phone sex exist when you had party lines? Was that a thing? Yeah. Fun golf. Um, I want to put a unique building here, but I want to use a unique building from like a CCP. I need to remember that they exist. Oh, a grocery store. That's so good. Let's put a grocery store right here. Excellent. Live across the street from the grocery store. Let's go. It does, Ignis, it does. <laughs> Gunt. Oh, Aurora brings up a good point of like voy voy voyeurism or whatever. Um Yeah, absolutely Aurora. Tinder over the phone. Plot twist gun was the old lady. Cute. Poor gun. Poor gun. He does his best. Um, how is this doing? Okay. Oh, it still needs another park. <sighs> the parking isn't enough, eh? Can we get a park over here? I don't think it'll reach that far, though. Teenager scare the living shit out of me. Nah. Oh, it does reach. Nice. Okay. Yes, Joe. <laughs> um, what else? I think I would like to put a hotel here, actually. Uh, what kind of hotels do we have available? We have... Oh, this would be great. This would be great right here. The old inn. Put it there. Oh, and then it has everything it needs already? Oh, the shopping's all over there. Neat. Oh, I kind of want to put two of those side by side. Gang, is that going to look weird if I do that? That will look weird, right? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Okay, hold on. Oh, not enough money. Okay, listen, I'm taking out a loan just to move my ins. Oh shit, and I didn't do these taxes. Oh no, I'm actually the worst. Teenager scare, fuck. 
Oh, okay. There. Now does that look weird? Yeah, Kelly, get out of here. Thank you for hanging out for so late. I appreciate you. I hope you have a good weekend. Add some hallway props. Download some assets. Wait. Warner. What? Warner. Get wrecked. No way. We playing vanilla, baby. These are working, though. Shit, we need $5,000, though, if we're going to be... Uh... Oh, we need to name the hotel chain? Bye. Old school phone lines, being a young teenager. Yes, Joe. Yes. Okay, Joe, listen, I'm going to tell like a... I'm going to tell a really pitiful toady early school story. Um, I don't know if you guys would ever believe this, but I wasn't the most popular in school through any of my school years. Um, and so in, I think it was like, I think it was late primary school or early, it was either like grade six or seven or so. Um, I thought that I was invited to a party. They told me I was invited to a party and they said, here's our phone number, um, call and we'll give you directions and stuff or whatever. And I was like, sweet. I'm actually invited to the cool kids. I get to, I get to be part of like a whole, a thing. I get to do a real thing. Um, and then I called the phone number and it was like this woman who was like, no, they don't live here. You've got the wrong number. And I was like, fuck. Uh, and so I like thought that I had dialed it wrong. And so I hung up and I just immediately dialed again. And she's like, why are you calling me? I told you they don't live here. Get the fuck out of here. And I was like, shit. And so then I waited a second. Cause I was like, maybe I was just in too much of a hurry. And I just dialed it too quickly and I dialed it wrong. I think I called that woman like six or eight times just dialing a number that had been given to me that was incorrect, either on purpose or by accident, but I'm pretty sure it was on purpose. Um, probably just to like get me off of their fucking, you know, case. And I was a fucking lame-o. Oh, that looks crazy, but fun. And that's my story. Uh, okay, I guess this is it. Are we making... Just $3,000. Damn. You know what else we need is we need a, we need campus. Oh, we were potentially going to do campus down here on the sand. Um, that's a really fun idea, but I really want $14,000 first. Yeah, gun. I was a fucking loser. Can you believe it? <laughs> Can you believe it? Oh, Ignis. I know it's difficult, but... You are very wrong. <laughs> I'm going to start expanding down this way. Um, using, is this the four lane road? It is, excellent. Excellent. Five eighty, can we remember that? Um, Warner, I want a snack too. Can I have a snack? Gang, I'm getting hungry already. What the fuck, video game? There we go. <laughs> Wait, golf house, are you calling yourself my snack? Oh, that's so tall. Oh, it's because that's where that thing is. Um, I'm gonna be okay with that. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Wait, I thought... Oh, it does just have to be that. I'm a whole meal! I'm like, I'm a week's worth of meal prep. Right over here. Okay, 670. Okay. 
Wow, gun. Are you calling community members fat? Toxic. Toxic. Uh, I'm going to do this. And we are going to bring uh, Radar Riches down this way. Actually, we'll just continue him like all the way along the line, shall we? That sounds fun. And then he'll he'll come over here. <laughs> Gun, can we celebrate your vacation by getting takeout for me? Or by going back to that little Spanish place so that the guy can give me another rose and schmooze me? Pew! Pew, 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 pew! Ignis is kicking out Warner, I think, right? Uh, yeah. Ignis. You now live in the temporary digs. Just the rose, please. No table. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. For sure, bud. Hello, Azwark. Good day. Uh, what do we want this to look like? I think I'm probably going to end up changing those roads. But... In the meantime, we could do little suburby type roads, I guess. Oh, let's do... No, this is all going to be low density. So, like, we don't need to worry about, uh, <clears throat> about making the roads, you know, more than one lane or whatever. <laughs> You guys are all skanks for my spouse, apparently. Um, I mean, I guess I'm here for it. I suppose. Oh. Yeah. I've asked myself the same question, Azuark. I personally prefer, I think, like... It, I, it's always contextual, of course, but I personally prefer the way that I've done it because, like, I would rather, if I'm looking out in, like this, I would rather not see houses or whatever, buildings on the side. I would rather see road first and then building and then the world behind it. I feel like that looks nicer than the other option in my professional opinion. I would be curious if uh, anybody had the opposite opinion, um, you know, but yeah, Warner, fair. I mean, yeah, that's a perfectionist dream, right? Like a, a tidy, tidy folks dream for sure. Goody goody nerd road on the edge. Wow. Well, I'll be a goody goody nerd. I'm alright with that. I'm alright with that. Yeah, I would be curious um how it works like in a real city. I guess a a real city probably wouldn't have a road, just not have half of it used. Um, yeah, what what Gunt said, G Money. Always the same time, Monday at twelve noon. Oh, is that still correct? Holy shit! The schedule command is actually correct. Wild. Ooh, yeah. Thinking like farming, like you know, out in the sticks for sure. And I guess that's kind of how cities end, isn't it? Kind of like out in the sticks or whatever. Yeah. Blind squirrel nuts? What? <laughs> Although gang, I have to I have to admit something. I have a confession. I've got another confession to make. Um Right. 
Uh, let's do... Oh, let's do the uh, community school out here. Oh no, it looks whack. It looks crazy. Is there like a wee little school? We'll just do the little Africa pack one again. Um, another conf confection to bake. I like that quite a bit. So my confession is that I am considering after we finish Larwind Low, um, the city that we've been playing over on YouTube. <laughs> I'm uh, considering dropping YouTube. I'm considering dropping the regularity of YouTube streams on Sundays and instead maybe bringing like a regular Saturday afternoon stream to Twitch, probably Saturday. Um, I'm gonna do this. All right, what else do we need over here? Oh, yeah, healthcare is fine. Or crematorium is fine. We could do healthcare out here. Cause so this is going to expand that way, I think. So I don't mind putting services out on these roads. Flab, hello. Nice. Yeah, Everlong would be on the classic radio station now, wouldn't it? Which, you know, you know, <laughs> I, it is what it is. I've come to, I've come to be okay with that. I think, um, little police station out here. Sure. I'm just going to put them all side by side to heck with it. To heck with it. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I feel like the Twitch streams are giving me more they just they feel more oomph oh i'm gonna scooch that this way um i don't know oh i watched a video well let's i clicked off of a video um that was comparing the offsprings albums to crash bandicoot's games uh, and they're like popularity slash goodness slash all of that. <clears throat> Flav. Yeah. And then the offspring compared to um, Crash Bandicoot, my attention peaks even more. So this is just European suburbia. So that means it must be regular, uh, regular. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Oh, are these, is this organic? Oh, it is organic, um, organic commercial. Awesome. Okay, well let's put some organic commercial in here, yo. I love that idea. Yeah, wild, Joe. Ooh, Seta brings a good point. You get the old, the old uh, bands that are making music still. The old groups or whatever. Yo, another um, confession from the confessional. I have never actually properly slash fully watched Jurassic Park. I tried when I was a kid and I got too scared apparently. So <laughs> I'm what you might call a pansy. Mm. Oh, let's do a little one of these. Right there. It's a scary spasmo. Yeah, I feel like I, I feel like nowadays that's probably one of the few movies that I used to find scary that I probably wouldn't find scarier anymore. But um, the gun, I have no fucking desire at all to watch old movies. 
<laughs> That's part of our problem, husband of mine. I just don't give a fuck about old movies, and I find them incredibly difficult to watch, and I'm sure that they were incredible in their time, and that many folks probably do still genuinely really enjoy them, but I just don't give a flying shit about them. We can order pizza! You can cuddle with yourself. Uh, and, you know, I'll play- I'll play my Game Boy while you watch movies! It'll be great! Sada, you live here now. <laughs> Old movie, uh, to me, would be anything like earlier than 20 fucking 10 at this point. Like anything where, and I, I, I just want to reiterate that they're not bad movies in any way. They are probably still incredibly great movies and tell a really good story. Like Gunt um, had me rewatch the Oceans movies because I seem to somehow kind of enjoy those like, what are they called? Are those called thrillers or like spy action? I, I apparently really enjoy those. Heist. Um, and so I was watching the Oceans movies for the first time and I knew that they were good movies, but like the, they were just dated. They were just really, really dated and the, um, film was dated like visually and it was just, it was just old and so I didn't give a fuck. Um, production value is a really, really good word for it all. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Azork is the answer to that. Yes. Um, I'm gonna put down... I'm gonna expand our farming here, yo. We have $85,000 and we have a lot of industrial need. Let's put down some barns. I'm gonna put a barn here. And uh, one of these beside it. I did watch the, um, it's on Disney Plus, the, like, behind-the-scenes documentary stuff about Lucas's films, um, like, production, set production company that's called Science and Magic or something, or, or tech, Technology and Magic, or Science, Magic, Technology winning... Technology and Wonders, L ILM, Industry Lights and Magic, something Lights and Magic, Industrial Lights and Magic, yes! Um, I loved watching that, that was very interesting shit, that was really, really interesting. Um, and, uh, yeah, and it, like it's clear that there's incredible amounts of talent behind what these people do. Um, I just don't want to watch their old shit anymore because it's old. Uh, and it looks old. I'm gonna- I don't know where the fuck to put these things. I'm not gonna put them down. That's what I'm gonna not do. Uh, so now... I'm gonna come in here... Um, with my dirt road. You know what's really funny? G-Money is- I mean, I do. Fuck. It's so weird because I do. But I think... I think that's because I'm such a, like, fucking die-hard Star Wars fan. Um, I don't think there's anything that could prevent me from wanting to watch those movies. But when you watch them, I think if I weren't such a diehard fan, I think they would suck. Not suck. Like, they're not bad movies. They're just hard to watch because they're so fucking old and everything looks so old. I know, fire. I know. All the MIs. Oh, yeah, I've never seen Mission Impossible. It's true, Joe! Okay, but Lord of the Rings holds up so well. Like, the... Um... <laughs> Karen talking about the cocaine. That's... that's. I am a millennial. I, I believe. I was born in 90. Um... The Lord of the Rings movies hold up so well. And I think there's... There's... You know, it's different... Like, different movies hold up better than others. Uh, like, for example, when I was... I will. I'll watch Jurassic Park for you. I'll do it. In all of my free time, I'll go watch Jurassic Park. And you know what, Joe? I'll fucking record it and put it on my reaction channel. <laughs> um, but when I was watching, like, old horror movies for that reaction channel, um, they were even worse. Because, like, their production value was 
was so, so bad. Uh, like the old Omen movie. Great movie! Like, in its in its own way, right? Um, but like, fuck, I, it was, I, I struggled to watch it. The, um, sequels to it, I struggled to watch even more. Yes, Flav, and I'm like, I'm extra old enough to know those very clearly. I, I can hear that instantly in my head. No problem. Um, yeah, yeah, that's fair, Joe, yeah. I will watch Jurassic Park, I, I promise. Also, I just read that you called me an amazing human. That's really funny, Joe. Um, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna regret this layout. Well, okay, wait, how about, how about we try this? How about we try this layout? A new follower! Flav, welcome officially. I hope that you're well. Oh. Yeah, I wouldn't think, like, Gunt Jr. probably ever heard that, eh, Gunt? The old dial-up sound? Like, why would they, right? No, yeah. Hmm. All right. Oh, this is looking okay. Yes, Red Mage for sure. Yeah, scary wise, old horror is way easier to watch, personally. All right, so this this will check out. This is a uh, real dumb, like traffic wise, but I'm leaving it. Now let's try to update Quistry's industry here. It just needs more workers, so we need to give them more working spaces. Oh, we're gonna need money, but oh, okay, that's the farming. Yes. Warner, 60 kilometers. You can do it. You can do it. I have faith in you. In your honor, Warner, I will go for a very long walk and I will post in Discord how long my walk was. Uh, and then uh, you can post about your bike and JBMF can say, hey, Toady, I'm proud of you. <clears throat> Ooh, is that what that is, Karen? That's really interesting. I um, would like to Google some of the words that you've said and understand them better. Because, um, yeah, that stuff sounds that sounds really fun. I want to learn all this stuff. Gang, if I could change my job and just start from scratch without, like, any um, kind of repercussions or whatever, or any, any sort of... I don't know. Yeah, repercussions, I guess, is the word. Um, I would love to... Uh, I would love to learn more about film. And be a, I, I would want to not be an actress in any sh fucking even hint of that, but I would love to be a behind the scenes person in film. Mm. Right. Interesting. Gee, money, Harry Potter, anything can go fuck itself and die in a fire. <laughs> when I watched Jurassic Park, not to shit on you, G money, just to shit all over Harry Potter. Um, Seta, I think you're wonderful, and I cherish I cherish you being in, in my life. I will not be getting the tornado game. <laughs> I am sorry. No tornado game for this this guy. Ooh, this fits nicely over here. Uh the original put yourself in the headspace that none of the other movies existed. And when you see the gates of the park. So I haven't seen any of the other movies either. Um, that's the first time you see those gates. And before you go all, oh, this seems like stuff you've seen before. Remember that those other movies copied what the original did, so they weren't cliches. Right. Oh, wait. I think I have seen the one of the Chris Pratt ones. If he's done more than one, I don't know. But I saw the ones where they were in a ball. Like a clear ball? Or did I just see commercials or YouTube of it? I don't even know. I have no idea. Um, Ray! Ray, okay, but listen, you also have the personality for it. Can we talk about that? Um, Ray, you're a fucking wonderful human being, and I think you could do it. <clears throat> awesome, G-Money, I like that. Oh, we doing Smasher Pass! Do you ever watch the Corridor Digital? No, I don't watch any reaction channels. I have no, um... 
No, and uh, those ones I know they provide value, which is uh, which is like a lot. Um, but they just would never come up on my like radar because I I don't see any <laughs> I don't see any value in reaction channels personally for me to consume. You know? Um, all right. Okay. All right. Okay. We need to uh, smash or pash some Pokemon here. Smashing or pashing? Um, I am going to do this. Uh, I guess we can just leave the game running. Oh, let's just zone in a little bit more, um, a little bit more residential, and then we'll let them zone in while we smash or pass a couple Pokemon. Um, gang, to fill you in on what Smash or Pass is, it's literally, it, it gives you a list of Pokemon and um, you indicate whether or not you would have sex with those Pokemon. Um, those are correct words. I intended to say every one of those words. So uh, buckle up, friends. Smash or Pass, Ray, Ray, sweetie, honey, Gang, I know Ray offline. He's he's a real like real real life friend, as you would call it. Um, Ray, I love you. But this is me officially putting you in the friend zone. <laughs> I guess not that. That's like there's no putting in the friend zone. And I've made it weird. I have made it weird. Ray, you're fucking great. Uh, po Pokemon Smasher Pass. Okay. Woo. Uh, we need 3,000 more people somewhere. Oh, we could do a bunch of people along here. We could, we could. Oh, we have $200,000. We could also expand our industries quite a bit. Um, I just need to bring up... Yeah! I'm here with you, Red Mage. Um, I just need to bring up my second OBS again. Uh, launch anyway. Oh, I should check on my drive space because I've got a lot of stuff in there right now. I've got 98 gigs. We're good with 98 gigs, right? <laughs> Come on, Carnage, you know you wanna. Let's do, um, let's actually just do commercial out this way. Cause it should be the, um, like the local produce style commercial. So that would go well. And then, yeah, I don't know, guy. Um, right, we were trying to expand quiz trees here. So we need more workers. Um, it actually just needs to be bigger. I'm going to expand it out here. Uh, let's draw a road like so, and then we're going to expand that industry over this way. Whoop. Oh, I love the tidy district lines. It just feels so much better, you know? Um, yeah, I'm just going to do this. Uh, sawmill is tiny, but it can go in there too. Actually, no, sorry. The sawmill f fits way too nice in behind these little water towers. Um, so what is this? That's a sawmill. I'm going to leave those two, I think, but we can do more storage. Over here. Oh, I don't know what to do. Yeah, we'll just do storage. Go. Oh, I should be doing storage where we don't need the tree resource, but it's fine. Nice, hi Fizz. Yeah, we're kind of goobers here. <laughs> we're big goobers here. We are, um, we're playing through the Vanilla Cities game again, like in an effort to look back on the original cities and um, kind of talk about it and think on, I don't know, what we like or don't like or game mechanics, all that sort of thing. Um, we do okay. 
Carnage, if you go to youtube.com slash ToadyZZZ, uh, I'm currently releasing a video YouTube series about it. Um, and I used to stream, I used to stream modded cities quite a bit. Um, thanks, you're on, I appreciate it. Uh, I used to stream modded cities all the time, but um, no, I will probably never play modded the modded City Skylines one ever again. If I'm being straightforward with you, I think that time has passed. Let's do these here. Yeah. I like build cities. I don't like traffic. They're so intertwined. Cause mod is a pain in the dick. It's just such a pain in the ass. Um, and to me, the value that it adds to the game doesn't, it's not worth how, how awful it is. Cause it's awful. <laughs> uh, it's slow, it's laggy, it breaks. It's just, you know, there's no value to it. Yeah. And I mean, let's be real. Like, I'm not having, I mean, how do I say this? I'm sitting here playing City Skylines 1 with you guys and I'm enjoying it and it's fun talking about it and I mostly just really enjoy your company and I've met you all through Cities, but I would rather be playing Cities 2 right now. Um, <laughs> I would really rather just, just be doing that. So. Uh, we need more farming. What are we importing here? I would too is fair. Enjoy carnage, do your thing. Oh, we aren't actually importing anything. Okay, are we importing anything over here? No. No one will tell. What a wild ride. What a, what a crazy, crazy thing that would be to do. Um, we can... I'm just gonna put more farm. Well, I guess we could do some like trees and stuff. Let's do some more. These rocks are gonna go. Oh, wait, let's see if we can build around the rocks actually. Oh, probably. They, the admins are probably like deleting it, Joe. That's totally a thing. A new follower. Uh, Fizz, welcome. I hope you're well. I hope you enjoy. Um, I think we, I think I remember seeing, like, they put, like, proof that that was happening before. Oh, we have new stuff. Oh, we have a slaughterhouse. Yay! Eww. Um, let's do the new factories. Oh, this one's very large. Nice. Let's do a large factory over here. That's not going to be bad for traffic at all. And let's do, do we have a milking parlor anywhere? I don't think we do. So I'm gonna scooch one over this way. I'll put it right there. Um, and then we can start getting more storage going around too. Enjoy nudes. Enjoy, enjoy. <sighs> um, we could probably scooch a little bit of storage. Guys, give me one second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, you can't see me picking my nose. Hold on. It's so itchy. Okay, hi, thanks. I just wanted to itch my nose. I didn't want you guys to think that I'm picking my nose. Digging for a winner, it's true. Oh, that pairs nicely, doesn't it? That pair is quite nice. Okay. How are we doing on, what do we need to happen here? Just more workers? God, there's so many that we need. We probably need more crops. We have a lot of flour, but we don't have a lot of animal products. What makes animal products? Oh, don't these make animal products? Yeah. We could do the little cow pasture dubers right here in the polluted area. Let's go. Who doesn't love having their little animals in a big polluted area? I'm pretty sure. So what is this one? 
This is um, sheep. And oh, we'll do the two types of cows right beside the milking parlor. It's like I planned it. I planned it all along, my friends. I did. Okay, so they're doing their thing. That's cool. I want to get something in here. Um, maybe some trees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hello. Can you do better? Thanks. Uh, and then, oh, we could do the little storage duber. One of those. Cool. What kind of trees are your favorite of these? Pears, pears, and apples. Yeah. The pear trees are probably my favorite. As much as I love to have like different colored trees become available, um, I like having, I just think that the pear trees look nice. <clears throat> oh, excellent. So that will give us enough workers eventually. Um, and then quiz trees, are you doing okay? You will also eventually have enough workers. So we're getting there. Trees. Trees. In here, we could put some more people living. Unless I really want to expand the farming up into there. Um, what do we think? Actually, I kind of do want to just put like some more kind of um, sort of gridded style f housing in there. Just expand this down. What is this? What is this? Oh, it's that. Oh. Yeah, let's do... Let's bring this in here. Because we need... Ooh, we need only 2,000 more people, gang, until we can get cemeteries. That's my... Er, not cemeteries. Um, oh, you know what we need to touch on in that retrospective video is... Uh, and I guess it's in the, the Industries DLC section is all the factories. We really, um, I really need to pick all of your brains about um, all of the DLCs. Anybody like want to chat a whole bunch on Monday? Do we want to have a super chatty Monday stream? Oh, for anybody who like may be new around here, um, on Mondays at 12 noon, we uh, go over the dev diaries together here on Twitch, and then I post them to my my second YouTube channel. Um, so I kind of give like my insight or whatever, and then chat gives their insight, and then I usually just tell chat that they're wrong and they need to do better. Yeah, that's fine. And uh, yeah, we'll fill this all with people. Uh, wait, why did I do that? That's the opposite of what I said that I wanted to do. I didn't want to do that at all. Sorry, I made a mistake. Chat is wrong. <laughs> Never. No, you guys are you guys are pretty on the nose. I like to think we carry some pretty intelligent folks around here. And it's not even really a matter of intelligence, is it? It's just um, interesting insights, I guess. Interesting thoughts. Yeah, that's fine. And now we now we zone this in. Okay. We're getting there, gang. I will figure it out one day, I promise you. Please come live in my city. Uh, yeah, let's do... All along here as well. Maybe not all along there, but... Certainly some bits of it. Ah, uh, this music is rad. Is this? Oh, this is Tunic! Hands up in chat if you have actually played Tunic. Everybody has, right? Every single person has definitely played Tunic. It's so good. Game of the year, 2023. Uh, we're not going to do housing there. Um, And we will do uh, the game Tunic. It's so good. Oh, it's on Game Pass. If that if that does anything for you, um, 
It's like, Azarark, are you a person who is familiar with Outer Wilds? I don't remember. Um, never touched Game Pass, got it. I'm astounded that it's on Game Pass. The value is mind boggling. It's just so good. Uh, oh, did I? Oh, well then why are you, yeah, then don't play Tunic. <laughs> Tunic, my best, my best way to describe it is it's got Dark Souls combat, Zelda graphics and like whimsy and Outer Wilds puzzle um, and deep deepness and all that sort of thing. Tr yeah, fair, Karen. Oh, I've never heard. I've never seen Death's Door. It's a fun sentence to say out loud. But yeah, I'm not familiar with that one. Um. Okay, what else can we do? We really need to bring our industry demand down. So I'm just gonna whack a bunch of um, farming buildings here. Because I think I have this zoned with the regular zone farming as well. I do, because you can see them all up there. Um, so we can like double dip on the farming zoning. I'm gonna do it here too. And hopefully, get some stuff happening. But you play as a cow who works as a Grim Reaper. Oh, interesting. Um, interesting. <laughs> Flav. English is, uh... Oh, a crow. Oh. There's definitely no sort of, like, Grim Reaper-esque um, mechanics in Tunic. Oh, also, we're level 10 now. That's cool. Or level 5. What am I doing with my life? So, now we can go to the farming industry and we can grab the big farms! Um, not to be confused, not to be confused with the big pharma. Gosh, I'm so funny. Just the story, got it, okay. Gotcha. Let's put those there, and then... I don't know, more storage? We love storage. I just hate how they have the palm trees, but... Oh, and I did fruit trees. Oh, whatever. Um, over here, I will do... <laughs> Magician! Oh no! Oh, that's funny! That's really funny. Uh, I think I'm gonna leave that. I think I'll just put a little storage duber. Oh, we can do the big, the big cows! Oh, the big animals! Let's do that, and then let's put storage in between it. Yeah. Does this farm have integrity? <laughs> Is this where I put on, like, my vegan pants as I do a hat animation and say that no farms have integrity? I think that's where that happens, right? Okay, let's put one of these. This actually looks really good. I forgot this was so large. Crop farms? Oh, uh, right. I forgot those existed. I'm not going to lie. I'll just be straightforward with you. I just completely didn't didn't understand that those existed. So, <laughs> um Okay, traffic's going to be a night here. Nightmare here. But that's fine. Oh, you need water. Sorry, little fella. Sorry, little fella. Spoken like a true vegan. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, wonderful. Now, how's the tree doing? You... Oh, this is level three now. Wonderful. My god, the industry demand just never ends, does it? So we have larger storage, which is really nice. Um, I think I'm going to put one of them over here at least. Oh, I hope 
I don't even, I don't know. I don't, oh, this isn't needed, is it? Neither is this. Neither is any of this. Or this. I love removing power lines. What a, what a like sexy feeling. Just removing power lines in City, City Skylines 1. It just feels so good. Oh, and we have these. Oh, we could put more windmills, wind turbines, sorry. Now that the farming area is done, we can put more wind turbines. I love that for us. Magician, I sort of understand that. Because it's like coding and shit. Hooray! Hello, Todd! Mmm, that sounds delightful. Are they as spicy as is your preference? Uh... Okay. Is that too many wind turbines in an area? Oh, actually, I kind of, I actually kind of really like that. Um, I think that looks pretty fucking neat. Oh, you know what we also have the capacity to do right now? We have, um, we have train available, don't we? Yeah, we could put down our cargo train. You want to talk traffic? Yeah. Oh, Todd, shucks. I have nothing. Guys, I'm hungry. What should Gunt make me? <gasps> Gunt? Are you there? Hey. <clears throat> let me put on my, let me put on my I want something voice. <gasps> Honey. <laughs> Sweetie. Come on. This is how, this is just me outing that my husband isn't, doesn't even watch my streams. That's all I'm doing right now. I'm just outing his not watching my streams. Um, okay. I'm gonna do more trees here. Oh, there he is! We found him! Yeah! No, but Gunt, we could, we could walk. If we walk, then, then we could do it. A solar panel was talking to a wind turbine. The panel asked, so how do you feel about renewable energy? The turbine replied, I'm a big fan. Okay, Flav, hold on a second, because I'm just going to copy that. And I'm going to put it in my go live message for Monday. Sound good? Oh, I literally, I have two letters that I'm missing. Um, sol a solar panel, I'm just going to say a solar panel talking. Okay, I'm just going to put solar panel talking to wind turbine. And then I think I can fit it. I'm a big fan. Oh, thanks, Flav. You're the best. That's my go live message on Monday. <laughs> um, all right. Now, is this a one way street? No, but this one's going to be. Oh, fuck it. No, it's not. Um, oh, it's too short. Damn. Oh, hello. Okay. <gasps> nice, Todd. How have they been? What's your, um, what's your take on them? I have, I want, I, I wish that I was watching them and paying attention to them, but I'm not. Um, just purely time constraints. Are we thinking good things, Todd? Guys, I'm going to become a simmer. <laughs> but Gunt, if we walk, Gunt, we can walk. Uh, yeah, that's enough. I'm gonna make those alder and beach. Oh, I'm gonna make this one beach as well. Beach. Walk where? To the corner store? Where do you think? There's some jank. Other stuff is gonna cost you. <laughs> yeah, waste lots of time as in like play a video game though, right? Like, the good wasting of time? Surely. Mmm, I think... 
that can go there and that can go there. Look at all of our stuff. Okay, how is this doing now? Okay, we're good. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. He is actually a magician, he's right behind me. You know, that's funny. I don't know if he does um really respond to that word. I think he does if you go like, and you dog like this, and you do, and you do that word. I'm not gonna combine the two. You guys know what I mean. Um, yeah. Okay, can we get more people living in the city, please? Where else can we shove some people in here? I would really love to reach the next milestone without purchasing a tile. Do we think we can do it? Can we get th fucking 1300 more people in here somewhere? Maybe by leveling some folks up? Uh, oh, land value increase. How is our land value doing though? Not not real swell around here, eh? That's actually really interesting. I guess parks. This place isn't smashed full of parks. Um, we can correct that. <laughs> yeah. I mean the cemet honestly, the cemeteries are getting pretty full. 150, 150, 120. Alright, let's put this guy down. Um, and then. I actually like that guy there, because then you can take its path. And, uh, oh, damn. Can we go like this with it? Oh, we can. Oh, I had it. I had it. Okay. I don't know if I can uh, really fit it anywhere. Yeah, of course I am. Rush is fantastic. Um... If you meet a Canadian who's not a Rush fan, you gotta ask a couple more questions, right? Um, what other parks can we fit in here? That's a spy, <laughs> yeah. Rush is the stay song of Canada, for sure. Oh, oh, interesting, Todd. I um didn't even know there was like farming like that in The Sims. I've been out of the Sims sphere, if you will, um, since like after the first Sims. Um, I loved the first Sims and I would love to play it more, but I'm going to do this and then turn oop, this into these. So, all right, do we think, do we think Life By You is going to be enough of a competitor to uh, SimCity in the way that The Sims, no, hold on. Do you know what I'm trying to ask? Is Life By You going to be enough of a competitor to The Sims in the way that City Skylines is the competitor and really the successor to SimCity? I'm gonna do offices all along here as well. Coolest, biggest road, Neil Park Boulevard. Yeah. Oh, I mean, that's gotta be this road, right? Do you wanna do this giant bridge? Probably this big bridge. Yeah. It is an early access game, isn't it? Uh, okay, we're gonna do Neil. Oh god, Neil. Heart. Uh, bridge. Okay, done. Nice. Oh, I don't think I'm showing road names. Uh, graphics? Gameplay? Mm, show road names. There we go. Cool. Right. Yeah. Oh, EA and their monetization practices. Don't we love them for it? True enough, eh, Azuark? I'm, um, I'm awful at remembering band members' names in general. I'm pretty shite at it. I kind of want to put some high-density housing here. The sound, the vol, like they're, the noise pollution is the word that I'm trying to say, is going to be horrid. 
but to heck with it, right? We need we need some some people moving into this darn city. We need 1000 more people. Please? 1000 more people. Oh my god, Todd. That's so it, it's so amazing how Well, okay. So what I was just about to say is that it's amazing that EA is still making these mistakes. Um but it's really not that amazing, is it? Because people are still paying for their games. So of course they're gonna, it's like Pokemon, right? Pokemon is, is putting out shit game after shit game after shit game. Um, and it's because people keep purchasing Pokemon. Um, so yeah. Cool golf. That's really, really neat. Monopolies do that, yeah. Yeah, which is why, um, you know, Paradox to the rescue, hopefully, with Life by You. <clears throat> yeah, I have no idea who this person is. I'm, I'm just, I'm just going with whatever you guys are saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to do more housing over here. Just like one more little road of housing. We can do that. We can do it. I'm going to, ooh, I'll make it a road with trees. Yeah, nope, yeah. Yeah, I think there's like even even trying to be a little bit of a, a fanboy aside, like trying to put put aside my fanboyism for for paradox. Um, I feel like there are some genuine differences between the two companies. Um, they give the free updates as well. Ooh, let's do like a nice tree. They, I mean, at least with cities, there's a million differences, but. Uh, oh, that's kind of neat. <clears throat> yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's not like they're doing, like, yearly releases. Um, oh, I'm going to do high density there, and then I'm going to do low density here. It's not like they're doing yearly releases and stripping back the DLC every time kind of thing, right? Um, yeah, that works out. And then, oh, those are little hotels. Right, I forgot about these guys. How's our hotel chain doing? No, oh, it's making us money. Is there anywhere else we can shove a hotel? <laughs> um, oh, we need some parks up in here. Oh, shit. I've been doing horribly. Sorry, game. Uh, let's get one of these guys. I don't know. Fucking over here somewhere? Brendan! Hey, friend. Hello. Life good? You okay? Everything all right? I'm gonna do that. Um, this can go probably a pretty far way to upgrading some houses, which will help our um, homes like level up and stuff. So I'm gonna try to just scooch some little parks in here. We're doing a scooch. Yeah. Yeah, Todd, yeah. There is nothing sad. Well, that's that's a pretty ignorant thing to say, but um, when I think of you existing, Brendan, it is only happy, only happy things for me. I am very glad that you exist. Thank you for existing and being with us. Um, I'm gonna do maybe a parking lot. Yeah, this house is getting the boot. Can I fit parking in here? Nope. All right. All right. I can do another, um, another one of these in here though. Yeah. Okay. Can you guys level up? Level up! Ah, <laughs> my <laughs> shitty little stickers. 
Increase the land value. Okay, well, I am working on that. So it actually is. We really do just need to put down more parks here, yo. Um, let's do a fairly bigger park over here. Oh, the dog park. Let's do a dog park over here. Um, like right there. Yeah. Hey, AI. Okay. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, oh wait, that's oil. I was like worried about them, but these guys, however, do definitely need something. So I kind of want to put this down, but I'd rather put it like over here. I don't know. I don't know. I'm a brain in a vat. Oh no. Okay. So, you know, guessing that folks around here are probably a similar age to myself. When you first saw the matrix, was there question about it being real? Like about the matrix actually like existing and all that sort of thing for you. Was that, oh, that sucks. Was that a possibility? Um, when did the Matrix come out? Uh, when did the Ma- When did the Matrix come out? Oh, 1999. So I wasn't quite doing drugs yet, but I don't think I would have seen it when I was nine. Hey, we got Big City! I probably did watch it a few years later. I probably did watch it during my early stoner years because I seem to remember having quite a bit of conversation about like maybe something like this is actually happening. Reloaded is 2001, yeah. Um, hey, our crematorium. Okay, so this is gonna be what we need to do is plunk down a million of those. Better water towers, which is really nice. Better um, inland water treatment. Oh, and a nice stadium and some um, some transit. We definitely need to do transit in this city. Oh, there we go. Let's uh, just make this look a little bit nicer. The poor cows on the hill, eh? Poor little moo moos doing their thing. <clears throat> yeah. Loki? Loki, like, do you mean, what do you mean? What do you mean, Flav? What do you mean? <laughs> um, and I kind of want to put trees around this. That feels really empty, but. Not for, for some people, G-Money. I think everybody's experience is different, right? I had, um, I had a problem. I had a, I had an actual, uh, an actual problem. Oh, and now that these have grown in, we can landscape these as well. Oh, and look at all the money we have. Okay, so here's the rest of the plan for tonight. We are going to, um, we're gonna place crematoriums because our cemeteries are so full. Um, and then we're gonna landscape the rest of our money away. Yeah, no, like I, so I know Loki from obviously the Marvel movies, but I don't know what you mean. Like, what do you mean he's up to something? What do you mean? <laughs> what does it all mean, Basil? Uh, Yeah, interesting. Interesting perspectives. He plays Tom Hiddleston to keep us fooled. Okay. All right. We're going we're getting wild here. We're getting wild here. Okay, let's get some crematoriums down. Oh my goodness gracious, have we ever needed this? 
Um, and I'm tempted. Oh no! Sorry, folks. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Do you guys apologize to your Sims? <laughs> is that a is that a Canadian thing? I'm sure it's a Canadian thing. I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put it there. Oh, I still have this tram track that I haven't used. Um, I'm going to do another crematorium down here. And uh, let's do a few over this way as well. Just kind of anywhere that we can fit them without them breaking somebody. Oh, it's going to let me place it on this elevated road. I'm really curious to do that, but I don't think I will. I think I'll place it over here instead. <clears throat> Hey, Teddy. Thank you. I appreciate you. Um, we are just playing through a vanilla playthrough and kind of like sharing our perspectives on the game and how it is good or bad. Uh, I don't know what to do over here. This needs parking for sure. I don't want to put a crematorium right next to a high school. Oh, we could put it with the recycling. Hopefully. Can I scooch it right on the end there? Oh my goodness, can I? Oh, these, oh, there it is. I found it. We're gonna put it right in between the two incinerators. <clears throat> uh, I mean, the video that I did on it is two hours long. So it's really difficult to like summarize that. Um, but in general, all very positive things. Um, I love how City Skylines 2 is like more difficult. Uh, that is a positive for me. Um, I'm going to start unloading this cemetery. Seta, your temporary digs are getting unloaded. Wink. <gasps> cool, Einstein. I love. Um, I love the uh, thought of playing slower and like prettifying and all that sort of thing. Um, but now that we have symmetries down, it also means that we can play a hell of a lot slower and uh, not worry about filling up our um, our symmetries. How is our waste management over here? Probably not great. Oh, it's actually not bad. Okay, we're doing all right. We do also have the Hearts of Korea thing that we can put somewhere, but nowhere around here yet. Yeah. Oh, okay. This is what we will do to end the stream. So you're not allowed to leave stream. This is a legal binding contract that we're making right now for legal purposes. That's a joke. Um, but at the end of stream, we will launch. We will launch Phallic 5. Oh, fun, Todd. I like that. I like that quite a bit. Um, okay. But we have $200,000 that I need to fix this landscaping with. Or at least start to, anyways. Woo! Um, oh, we're making it. Gang, we are doing so... I'm so happy now. Like, things are things are doing all right. Um, oh, let's just start to smooth this out a little bit. Um, okay, $200,000. Oh, fun! Okay, can you elaborate? Are those examples that you've given, are those actual examples that have been given by the devs? I love that they tailor to their adult audience because that's like that, that's so funny. It's cheeky, but it's not like, um, it's not like, not grotesque. What's the word? It's not overt. It's not. It's not obnoxiously, like, over-sexualized. It's just cheeky, funny, adult humor. Um, okay, cool. Oh, okay. Okay, so those were not the examples used. Subtle cheekiness. <laughs> yeah, well, and I wouldn't even necessarily say erotic. Because, like, I don't think if Gunt came up to me, it's not crass. Yeah. I don't think if Gunn came up to me and said, do you want to handle my package? I wouldn't, I wouldn't call that erotic, you know? 
But it's just, yeah, it's sexual, but without being, it's without being crass, without being overly, like, ew to people who are put off by sex or whatever. Um, I don't know. I think it's great. Look at our poop river. Poop river. And even in the CS2 video, um, I think it was the services video, she was like, you know, in City Skylines, you have to deal with a lot of situations. I don't even know what word she actually said, but she was insinuating the word shit, which is great. I love that. Um, and it wasn't overdone and it was kind of funny. And um, what was the other thing that I said that I wanted to do? I guess that's it. I guess it's just cemeteries and the landscaping. So on our list is definitely to get a train. We could do the train now, I guess, eh? Let's do, let's go crazy. We're going to go crazy with some one-way roads. Do not tell Golf House. He cannot know. Um, but, oh shit, this windmill needs to go. Wind turbine, sorry. I know I'm the worst for that. Okay, here we go. Oh no! Ah. Uh, oh my god, cunt. <laughs> oh wait, really? Oh no! I didn't, so... Someone told me once, I think it was Warner, mentioned about how um, you can't upgrade dirt roads to regular roads sometimes. And I guess it's, it's, I've never really had it in action, but it's because they're like, they're angled. Um, shit, so we have to like, we have to scooch every single one of these over. We're going to waste all of our money doing this, but I'm doing it, gang. I don't even care. Um, can you please do what I want you to do? Fuck. Okay, I'm gonna put it there first, and then I'm gonna bring it over. No! Slope too steep! Are you choking me right now? One way roads take me home. No! Yes, Magician, I do want to get rid of the poopy river. I do, for sure. Okay, I'm gonna do this. It's gonna be ugly. And then we're gonna scooch it back. Cooperate, baby. Okay, here we go. Everything's working. Everything's fine. Are you gonna slope too steep me? You bitch. You know nothing. Oh, look at, you can see the animals migrating, by the way. Do you see that? It's gonna happen again because I'm gonna move this animal pasture again. So you can like watch all the animals migrate. It's fantastic. Yeah, just vanilla things, yeah. Todd, I love that for you. I think that's great. Pigs in space. Come on, do what I want you to do. Do it, do it. You prick. So funny how that works. All right, I'm probably gonna have to do this one as well. Oh, okay, now can we upgrade it? Hey! I love that for us. All right, but these all need to go the other way, please. Thank you. Um, now, let's put this landscaping back. So funny, this is how it works. It's true, Einstein. I was mentioning earlier um, that I'm considering, like, once Larwind Low is done on YouTube, which is probably four or five streams from now, I'm considering... Uh, streaming on youtube with less frequency because i do it once a week and so i'll just do like special streams on youtube um also let's watch all these guys uh and um then adding one stream a week more frequently on twitch yeah yeah i like the audience on twitch um quite a bit do it todd I'm gonna oh, look at them go. This is so fun. Can we name every single one of them? <laughs> Ta, you are all sheep. <laughs> My Twitch chat are all sheep. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This is the worst. Are you a sheep? Oh, I can't click you because you're in my farm field. I've been called worse. Probably buy better. Absolutely. Arnor! 
I'm not renaming a pig. I refuse to rename a pig to one of you. Exo, no! Exo, I think you're neat. All right, well, they're all doing their thing. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yes, we were doing the, um, we were doing the cargo. So what I like to do is, I don't really want to do the whole snake thing, uh, but if I do the whole snake thing, it'll be a good example for the video. So gang, I recognize that this looks awful, um, but I'm doing this for the purpose of a YouTube video to demonstrate the absolute shenanigans that we had to do when, uh, or that we have to do, I guess, when we're playing vanilla. Um, I'm gonna do this and then name me the pig. No way. I legitimately refuse. I will not. Okay, you're connected. And you're connected. That looks awful, doesn't it? But that's fine. And then I'm just going to, uh, I'm gonna tidy this up as well. Come on, do it. Hey, okay. It's because Jay is a babe. Oh no. And if I do the road thing, Okay, I'm just doing it from this side. That's the that's the compromise here. Is I'm just doing the pipe over from here. Um, and ooh, we could just give this guy his own windmill. Love that for us. He can just have his own little windmill there. But I'm gonna do one more as well to connect them. So many windmills. Okay. And now we uh, speed three. And we watch the traffic? Maybe? Maybe? Export? Oh, we got one guy, two guys, three guys, four guys. Okay. Orwell Farm and three fellas timber yards. That's fun. That's fun. Um, all right. Well. What are we at here? 9 p.m. My friends and family, it is 9 p.m. What do we, what do we think about that? Almost 2 a.m. Oh my god, crazy, crazy. I just, I love this. I love watching this type of traffic. And the windmills, I'm so happy with the windmills too. All right, let me um, end my recording. Uh, stop recording. Okay. I'm in the past, yeah. 9 p.m. super early, I know, but I need chips. <laughs> Gang, this has been so fun. Okay, but don't leave. Oh, we have to take, oh no, we have to blast off the rocket. Oh, I have to record that. Oh, hold on. I have to open my OBS again. I was so excited. So what I would like to do, let's let's blast off the rocket, right? Um, and then if you guys wanted to stick around, um, we could raid into Ambiguous Amphibian because uh, he's live and that might be fun. He does good stuff. People tend to like him, uh, but let's, let's, um, yo, let's launch Phallic 5! Let's go! Okay, are we ready, chat? Drum roll? Drum roll? I'll do, I'll do the best drum roll that you've ever heard. Ooh. Phallic 5! I'll show you an ambiguous amphibian. Okay. Alright. <sighs> breaker, breaker. We got ourselves a convoy. I'm just pressing go. I'm just pressing go. Hello? Hello? Oh. 
Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. There we go. Oh, yeah! Neat! Oh, yay! So the next time we stream from this city, we'll have to name the next rocket. Um, oh, it like zooms in. Ooh, it's like I meant that to happen. Does he just, oh, 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 okay. He must be gone now. So fun. I love that. And I love that it just, we don't get anything from that. People just, oh. <laughs> Red mage. Oh, look at him, we gotta get all the people walking off. Oh, that's fun. 